How to change font defaults for WordPad. WordPad is an excellent, simple way to create a text document in Windows. It has much better formatting options than the Notepad editor, and it's included free with Windows. You can't really change the defaults for a WordPad program, but you can create a WordPad template that will do that. And here's how. First, open WordPad. Either press the Start button and type WordPad and press Enter, or open it from a shortcut. Once you've opened WordPad, change any of the font parameters that you want to change. You could change the font type. You could change the size. You could select bold, italics, all those. For this demo, I'll show you what I do. I make the text larger because the default size is too small for me to read. I usually change it to 16. Now, before you do anything else, you have to press Enter. It turns out, if you save an empty document, Without pressing enter first, it will save it with the default setting, which was 11. It'll keep the setting if you press that enter first. So now just close the document any way you want, and I'll just exit. I'll click the X box. It'll ask me, do I want to save? Yes, I do. And I'm going to call it WordPad. I'll just abbreviate WordPad temp for template. WordPad temp. Then I'll put it on the desktop, and then I'll click Save. Now let's check it. Here it is. Let's just check that it saved the way we want it. Open it. Notice, still the same font name, but it is size 16 now. 11 was the default. And it's got rid of that extra line we had to put in to make it save it properly. So it's fine. Let's close it again. What we have to do now is right click it, select properties, and then click read only, and then save the change. That way the template's read only. We can't accidentally overwrite it when we're editing a file that we're creating using the template. It will not let you overwrite it as long as it's still read only. So now let's demonstrate using the template. Open it up. Just double click it to open it. Start to type. Notice the size is 16, not the default 11 that we were trying to get away from. Now to verify that it's going to save it the way we want, we'll just close it and save it. No matter how you close it, it will ask you for a file name and location because the file you're editing is a read-only file. So let's just say save it. We'll put it on the desktop and we'll call it file 1. And we'll click save. Now we'll verify that file 1 is what we wanted, which has just a little bit of text, and it was typed using a template that set it to size 16, and that is size 16. The template did exactly what we wanted it to do. Now let's make sure that the template hasn't been changed. Here's the template. Sure enough, it's still an empty file with a size 16. So that's how you set up and use a template in WordPad to set its default font characteristics the way you want them for the documents you edit. Every time you want to create a new document, you open the template file, you create your document, and you save it by specifying a name and location. And I should mention, of course, that once you've started using the template, either on the first line or, or other lines, you are able to reset any of the parameters you want in your document and they'll of course appear in your document. So for instance, if we want to change it now to make it bold, if we want to make an even larger type for line, see these are the reasons you're using WordPad. You can't do this sort of thing in Notepad. It won't let you. So again, you can save it, it'll, it'll look just like this, and it will not affect the template. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. 
If you liked this video, I have over 100 videos on my YouTube channel. Please click the red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is free and subscribers are notified when I add videos. To visit my channel page, just click Thomas Wallace or click my picture.